In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, cleanse me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, cleanse me, the sinner, and have mercy upon me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Peace be with you, the brethren. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. O holy Saint John Chrysostom, pray to God for us with all the holy Orthodox saints, with the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with my patron Saint Michael the Archangel, and Saint Elias the Prophet. Kyrieleison, 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 grant us, O Lord, all you holy saints to stay around to commemorate on the old calendar and holy Orthodoxy. Pray the God for us. Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison, Kyrieleison. All you heavenly host of angels, intercede for us everywhere. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Grant this, O Lord, Amen. O Holy Saint Gerasmus of Kefalonia, pray to God for us. Kyrie eleison. O eternal God, who has redeemed the race of men from the captivity of the devil, deliver thy servant and handmaid, all who come across this video, From all the workings of unclean spirits, command the evil and impure spirits everywhere they are, all demons, spirits of Beelzebul, Jezebel, Belial, Leviathan, every fallen angel and evil spirit to depart from the soul and body in every place, and from every person, place, and object, and from all your Christian people, your holy Orthodox Church, from all those who call on the name of our Lord Jesus Christ in every place, of your servant and handmaid, and not to remain nor to hide in him or her. Let them be banished from this, the creation of thy hands, in thine own holy name, and that of thine only begotten Son, and of thy life-creating Spirit, so that after being cleansed from all demonic influence and activity, and every evil presence, he or she may live godly, justly, and righteously, and may be counted worthy to receive the holy mysteries of the Orthodox Church, of thine only begotten Son and our God, with whom thou art blessed and glorified, together with thine holy good and life-creating Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O thou who hast rebuked all unclean spirits by the power of thy word, has banished the legion, come now through thine only begotten Son upon every creature, person, place, and object, which thou hast fashioned in thine own image and deliver him and her from the adversary that holds him or her in bondage, so that receiving thy mercy and becoming purified, he or she might join the ranks of thy holy flock and orthodoxy and be preserved as a living temple of the Holy Spirit and might receive the divine and all holy mysteries of orthodoxy through the grace, compassion, and loving kindness of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed together with thine all holy good and life-creating spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. We beseech thee, O Lord, Almighty God, Most High and Tempted, Peaceful King. We beseech thee who has created the heavens and the earth, for out of thee has issued the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last, who has ordained that the four-foot and irrational beast be under subjection to man. For thou hast subjected them, Lord. Stretch out thy mighty hand and thy sublime and holy arm, and in thy watchful care look down upon these creatures. Send down upon them a peaceful angel, a mighty angel, a guardian of soul and body that will rebuke and drive away every evil and unclean demon from him and her. For thou alone, O Lord, most high, almighty, are blessed unto the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. We make this great, divine, holy, and awesome invocation in plea, O devil, for thine expulsion, as well as this rebuke for your utter annihilation, O apostate, God, who is holy, begetting this frightful, invisible, in essence, infinite in power, 
incomprehensible in divinity, the King of glory and Lord Almighty. He shall rebuke the devil in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He who composed all things well by his word from nothingness into being. He who walks upon the wings of the air, the Lord rebukes the devil in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. He who calls forth the water of the sea and pours it upon the face of all the earth. Lord of hosts is his name, devil the Lord rebukes thee in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He who is ministered to and praised by numberless heavenly orders and adored and glorified in fear by multi angelic and archangelic hosts, Satan the Lord rebukes thee. He who is honored by the encircling powers, the awesome six-winged and many-eyed cherubim and seraphim that covered their faces with two wings because of his inscrutable and unseen divinity, and with two wings covered their feet, lest they be seared by his unutterable glory and incomprehensible majesty, and with two wings do fly and fill the heavens with their shouts of holy, holy, holy Lord, Sabaoth, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Devil the Lord rebukes thee in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. He who came down from the Father's bosom through the holy, inexpressible, immaculate, adorable incarnation of the Virgin, appeared ineffably in the world to save it and cast thee down from heaven in his authoritative power and showed thee to be an outcast to every man. Satan the Lord rebukes thee in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He who said to the sea, Be silent, be still, and instantly was calmed at his command. Devil the Lord rebukes thee everywhere you are in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. He who made clay with his immaculate spittle and refashioned the wanting member of the man blind from birth and gave him his sight. Devil, the Lord rebukes thee. He uproots thee. He casts thee out. He tortures thee. He sends his angels to pursue thee and to cast thee out. You are damned, condemned to eternal sulfur and fire by the breath of God. Go now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He who by his word restored to life the daughter of the ruler of the synagogue and snatched the son and the widow out of the mouth of death and gave him whole and sound to his own mother. Devil the Lord rebukes thee in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord who raised Lazarus the four days dead from the dead undecayed, as if not having died and unblemished to the astonishment of many, Satan the Lord rebukes thee in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He who destroyed the curse by the blow on his face, and by the lance in the macculine side lifted the flaming sword that guarded paradise. Devil the Lord rebukes thee in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He who dried all tears from every face by the spitting upon his precious expressed image. Devil the Lord rebukes thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. He who set his cross as a support, the salvation of the world. To thy fall and the fall of all the angels under thee, devil, the Lord rebukes thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. He who spoke from his cross, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two, and the rocks were split, and the tombs were open, and those who were dead from the ages were raised up. Devil, the Lord rebukes thee in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. He who by death put death to death, and by his rising granted life to all men, May the Lord rebuke thee, you Satan, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. That is he who descended into Hades, and opened its tombs, and set free those who were held prisoner in it, calling them to himself, before whom the gatekeepers of Hades shuddered when they saw him, and hiding themselves vanished in the anguish of Hades. May the Lord rebuke thee, you devil, that is Christ our God, who arose from the dead, and granted his resurrection to all men in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. May the Lord rebuke thee in every place, Satan, adversary of Christ, adversary of the Holy Orthodox Church, adversary of those who are baptized in orthodoxy in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He who in glory ascended into heaven to his Father, sitting at the right of majesty upon the throne of glory, devil, may the Lord rebuke thee in the name of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. He who shall come again with glory on the clouds of heaven with his holy angels to judge the living and the dead. Devil, may the Lord rebuke thee. God the Father commands thee. God the Son, he commands thee. And God the Holy Spirit, he commands thee. He rebukes thee. He vanquishes thee. He annihilates thee, condemning thee. By the breath of God, you're consigned to the second death, to the lake of fire. Go now, perished and vanquished with all those who serve you and worship you and follow you in every place. He who has prepared for thee the unquenchable fire, the unsleeping worm, 
the outer darkness unto eternal punishment. Devil, may the Lord rebuke thee and all your kind and all those with you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. For before him all things shudder and tremble from the face of his power and the wrath of his warning upon thee is uncontainable. Satan, the Lord, rebukes thee by his frightful name, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning of the end, the first and the last, the Amen. And by his new name, in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, it is done. Shudder, tremble, be afraid, depart, be utterly destroyed in every place. Be banished, you Satan, adversary of Christ, every principality, power, and ruler, darkness, beast, false prophets, and antichrist. Thee who fell from heaven together with thee, all evil spirits, all deceivers, all liars, the father of lies, every evil spirit of lust, the spirit of evil, a day, a nocturnal spirit, a noonday, an evening spirit, a midnight spirit, imaginative spirit, an encountering spirit, either the dry land or the water, one in a forest or among the reeds or in trenches or on a road or crossroads in lakes or streams and houses or homes or in vehicles or various places or one spark sprinkling in the baths and chambers or one altering the mind of mankind and depart swiftly from the creatures of the Creator Christ our God and be gone forever from the servant and handmaid of God in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and depart vanquished forever from his and her mind, from his and her soul, from his and her heart, from his or her reins, from his or her senses, from his or her members, that he or she might become whole and sound and free, knowing God Almighty, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit in holy orthodoxy, knowing God, his or her own master and creator of all things, he who gathers together those who have gone astray and who gives them the seal of salvation through the rebirth and restoration, divine baptism and orthodoxy, so that they may be counted worthy of his immaculate heavenly and awesome and holy mysteries of the orthodox church and be united to his true fold in orthodoxy dwelling in a place and pasture nourished on the waters of repose guided pastorally and safely by the staff of the holy cross unto the forgiveness of all sins and life everlasting for unto him belong all glory honor and adoration and majesty together with thy beginning this father and his all holy good and life creating spirit both now and forever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. These are the prayers of the Holy Eastern Orthodox Church, taken from St. John Chrysostom from around 347 to 407 AD. The Zarkamandrite, Father Mikael, I serve as an exorcist priest in the Eastern Orthodox Church. Our church takes its autonomy from the one true Greek Orthodox Church on the old calendar from Alexandria. And God bless you, heal you, save, preserve, and protect you, and bring you to everlasting life in his holy Orthodox Church. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Glory be to him forever. Amen. Jesus Christos Nika. Amen.